Hey, Joy, can I ask you something? Sure thing. Oddly familiar voice. What do you know about climate change? Seems like we're making good progress with hybrid cars and meatless Mondays. We should be pretty good soon, right? If we don't change our behavior by 2030, the damage to Earth could be permanent. Like that tattoo on your forearm permanent. If it's so obvious what's happening, then why doesn't everyone believe it? First of all, 97% of scientists agree that humans are causing climate change. Okay, that's definitely a lot of scientists. If climate change could actually make a big difference, why didn't we know about it sooner? We've actually been aware of our impact on the Earth for thousands of years. Whoa! Ah! Where are we? Ancient Greece. Meet Theophrastus. Theo what's this? Theophrastus. He was a pupil of Aristotle and one of the first people to speculate human activity affects climate change. Then in 1824, French physicist Joseph Fourier discovered the greenhouse effect. You know about the greenhouse effect, right, Joy? Of course. It's the thing with the carbon and the footprint and the... Okay, I've definitely heard of it, but maybe I don't know exactly what it is. It's when gases from fossil fuels like carbon dioxide thicken a layer of our atmosphere and trap the sun's radiation inside, making the Earth warmer. But isn't the Earth set up to, like, deal with things like that and balance itself back out? Normally, our oceans absorb the CO2 we emit, but in 1957, two scientists in the U.S. confirmed that our oceans can't actually absorb all of the CO2 our modern civilizations create, despite what we'd always thought. That's why we need to make some major changes, and now. If the Earth's getting warmer, then what's up with these record cold winters? Well, some people might not know the difference between weather and climate. Weather is short-term, like your mood. Climate is long-term, like your personality. I love analogies. Climate change creates more extreme weather overall. Hot, cold, you name it. And it's only gonna get worse until we take our foot off the gas, literally. So why does Janet from Accounting say climate change is fake news? Well, it's no secret that certain industries create lots of greenhouse gases, and some of them are spending big money on politicians and press that deny climate change, so some people like Janet from Accounting don't stop buying their products. They're choosing their pockets over the planet! And that affects our habitats, our health, and our homes. On top of all the CO2 it absorbs, our ocean now contains more pieces of plastic than there are stars in the sky. And all this plastic emits its own greenhouse gases, which has destroyed precious ecosystems and forced marine life from their homes. But it's not just animals. Seven million people die every year because of air pollution. And over 90% of the world's population live in areas where the air quality is unhealthy. And we all just quit smoking. At this rate, by 2050, temperatures will increase enough to create severe climates in the US, like the forest fires in California, which were 500% bigger due to climate change. 500%? Is anything not on fire? Every year, 22.5 million people are displaced because of natural disasters around the world. Some estimates say that Hurricane Harvey dumped nearly 40% more rain due to climate change. So what do I do? Where do I sign up? There has to be something I can do. The good news is when we all come together, we can make a difference. But the only way we can do that is by raising our voices until the people in power know that it matters to us. In the 80s, when scientists discovered holes in the ozone layer, countries banded together to phase out some of the human-made chemicals responsible. And now, the holes in the Northern Hemisphere may be repaired by the 2030s. Ew, who even uses hairspray anymore? But we didn't stop there. All over the globe, nations are uniting to protect the planet. In 2015, world leaders reached a landmark deal known as the Paris Agreement. And more than 180 countries have come together with the goal of reducing greenhouse emissions and shifting to renewable energy. Finland plans to ban coal by 2029. And in Scotland, they planted 22 million trees this year to help fight climate change. So Joy, just remember, we all have to do our part to be the change. Shop with reusable bags. Get a reusable water bottle. Unplug appliances when you're not using them. Switch to LED bulbs, shop vintage. You look great in a jumpsuit. But those aren't good enough. I mean, we've known about this stuff since the old, oh, what's his name? He was the old guy in the woods and we, oh, we just met him. Theophrastus! We need to talk about what's happening and get our leaders to listen. Otherwise, this place won't be here much longer. And I really can't afford to move right now. Oh, Joy, you've come so far. And without using fossil fuels. Thanks. Well, I should go. Wait, real quick. Uh-huh. Your voice. You sound just like that girl on Modern Family. Sarah Hyland? No, that's not it. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> See you, Joy.